Yeah, Jeff, well, we are joined by the man of the hour. It's Trent Dill for the next head football coach of the UAB Blazers. And Trent, nobody on earth saw this coming, not even 24 hours ago. I know you could probably talk everyone's face off about how this came to be, but in the last 24 hours, how are you in this position that you're at with right now? I, you got me there. <laughs> well, I appreciate, really thankful to Mark Ingram, Dr. Watts, the search committee. They were very thorough. Uh, I think my name was suggested to Mark, as he mentioned, by a local businessman six weeks ago. Uh, I was not looking to leave. Uh, just eight weeks ago, I told my wife we're probably going to do this for a long time because the impact we're having. Uh, but as I started down this journey with them, I think there was a natural connection. Uh, I think there was a like-mindedness. Uh, I think they were looking for somebody that's not as scared to climb big, giant mountains. You talked about in your press conference that the foundation has already been yeah. laid by men like Bill Clark, by men like Brian Vincent. Can you talk to me why you believe that UAB not only could compete for conference championships, but you weren't afraid of mentioning that this has the potential to one day be a college football mm -hmm. playoff type of program? Absolutely. You have the facilities. You got the president that believes in you. You got the 80 that knows how to do it. Uh, you have the support of the community. You have a donor base that's proven. They don't just talk. They've proven they're behind it. And then you're in the, the richest recruiting region in the country. Um, and you have coaches. I'll be have a great network of coaches that can come help develop these young men into to great players and great people. Jeff, he's a Super Bowl champion. He was a great broadcaster at ESPN. Now we can add college football coach to that list. Head coach Trent Dill for the UAB Blazers. Thanks so much for your time.